hope all is well with you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Guys, today I'm going to do a walkthrough. Um, it's kind of a different type walkthrough. Um, this is Living Magic Learning Card Series. Okay, this is, and I have quite a few of these, which I'll be doing walkthroughs on. Um, this is uh, Lenormand Learning Cards. Um, I am a Lenormand reader. Uh, I love reading Lenormand cards. I also read the regular uh, Rider Weight Tarot, um, but my favorite is the Lenormand. Um, this, these are self-study uh, flashcards. Okay, they are by J-A-D-Z-I-A. -A. I believe it is Jadzia DeForest and J DeForest. Okay, here is the box. And on the back, it says, Easy Learn the Petite Lenormand Divination System. Learn the Petite Lenormand Oracle, named after the famous French cartomancer, Melly Lenormand. The Lenormand learning cards are the perfect way to begin your journey with this specific cartomancy system. Included is a large flashcard deck of 36 cards, plus an additional set of man and woman cards, a small set of Lenormand for playing out spreads and an instruction booklet. The deck includes the card title, number, playing card associations, quality, keywords, and literal meanings. This was published um, by Living Magic Publishing. Um, it is an educational tools for sacred living. Um, and you can look at these cards um, on their website. It's www, capital living, capital magic, capital publishing dot com. Okay. And let's open the box. It's just an easy open box. Um, this was published in 2018. So here is a, just a little booklet that comes with the cards. And um, it talks about how to use the deck. It talks about a note um, about Lenormand interpretations. It has ways to read the cards. It talks about how to begin. Um, it talks about three card readings. It talks about five card readings. It talks about the Grand Tableau. Um, and it goes into that. Let's see here. It has special notes. Um, a conclusion and a recommended reading. It's about 14 pages long. Okay, they also have other decks that you can get. Um, and I have quite a few tarot learning cards. I have those. The astrology learning cards. I have those. Crystals and stones learning cards. Rune learning cards. The tree of life learning cards I have. Um, I don't know if I have the runes. I think I might have the runes. Um, palmistry learning cards. I just got those um, and more, you know, so they have um, great learning cards um, to learn if you're looking into that. Okay, so let's pull these out and it just comes in a little box like this. Here's for the small cards and the larger cards. Okay, and we'll start with the large cards first. So it comes with a title card. Um, it tells you about where to get this. This is the first edi edition publishing. And it tells you about the different decks that they have on the other side of the card. So nice little card. And then it goes into the cards. Okay, so the first card here is the Rider. Okay, if you guys watch my uh, readings, you see a lot of these cards in the readings I do, okay? And then on the back, it says the rider is the number one card. Um, the playing card, if you do playing cards, which I started learning reading playing cards, so I, when I read, I refer to the playing cards. Um, and that is the nine of hearts, okay? The quality of these cards is neutral. The key words is a message, news, a quest maybe a visitor, maybe some kind of response or delivery. Quick, active, movement, energetic. 
The literal meaning is a package, maybe a bike, a horse, a motorcycle, or some kind of a delivery truck or a postal carrier. Okay, additional. In reading this card, can represent a third party or an additional person. As a timing card, it shows quick movement, right? Then we have the clover. So the clover is the card number two. It is, um, with playing cards, it is the six of diamonds. The quality is positive. The keywords is luck, fortune, success, opportunity, win, happiness, surprise, spontaneity. Okay, the literal meanings is lucky charm, a rabbit's foot, lottery ticket, lawn, or yard. Additional, this is usually a short-lived, sudden bit of a little bit of luck. Next, we have the ship. And that's the number three card. Um, this is the playing card, is the Ten of Spades. It's a neutral card. Okay, the key words is travel, a voyage, long distance, change, freedom, foreign, relocation, adventure, maybe a vacation of some sort. Um, the literal meaning may be a car, a boat, maybe a ship, a train, an airplane, maybe a bus, okay? Then we have the house. Okay, that's the number four card. In the playing cards, it's the king of hearts. Uh, it's a neutral card. The key words may be home, family, comfort, routine, structure, foundation, domestic, Stability, security, maybe real estate. Um, the literal meaning may be a house, your property, an apartment, a building, or a small structure. Then we have the tree, which I call the tree of life. The number five card. Um, in the playing cards, it's the seven of hearts. It is a neutral card, okay? Um, the key words are health. Growth, longevity, rest, origin, solid, mature, patience, slowly, lazily, and lineage. The uh, literal meanings is a tree, <laughs> right? Woods, forest, the family, the tree chart. Additional may be as a timing card. This, it can show this process may take a long time to come. The clouds. I'm getting a little warm. Okay. Um, the, card number six. This is the king of clubs. Okay. This is a negative. Um, the key words may be confusion or clarity. Doubt or fear. Unclear. Some problems may be coming up. Hesitation. Stormy. Maybe some short, you know, short term. The literal meanings may be bad weather, smoke, a rainstorm, fog, hazy, cloudy. Additional, um, cards placed to the right of this card show that the subject is confused. Cards placed at the left show that this person is becoming clearer. The next card is the snake. And the snake is the number seven card, right? It is the queen of clubs. And it's a negative card. It can be talking about an enemy or some lies or some deceit, malicious, venomous, danger, temptation, betrayal, treachery. Okay. The literal meanings of this card may be tubes, pipes, plumbing, electrical, wire, a necklace, and a bracelet. Additional. This card can represent a mature woman, and sometimes it shows the other woman in a card reading. This card can represent a mother when combined with a tower card. The next one, this bracelet's driving me crazy, guys. Okay, is the coffin. The 
And this is the number eight card, nine of diamonds. It's a negative card, okay? The key words are end, death, final, defeat, loss, anxiety, depression, stagnation, sickness, bed rest. The literal meanings is a box, a bed, a drawer, underground, and an enclosed case. Next, we have the bouquet, which is the nine card, and it's the queen of spades. This is a positive card, okay? This is about a gift, maybe joy, happiness, affection, tranquility, success, positivity, celebrations. The literal meaning can be flowers, valentines, a bouquet, and a gift or a present. Next, we have the scythe. And the scythe is, scythe is the number 10 card. This is the uh, Jack of Diamonds. And this is a negative card. It talks about cut. Cuts, maybe uh, accidents, reap, harvest, shock, maybe some danger. Sudden, cutting, abrupt, swift, maybe. The literal meanings can be garden tools, surgical tools, a knife, scissors, or anything that's sharp. Okay, additional. Sometimes the direction of that scythe's edge is facing to the right shows that it's being cut. When forced on timing, this can represent quick action, swift action. And we have the whip. Okay, the whip is the number 11. It's the jack of clubs, right? This is a negative card. It's about repetition, pain, an argument maybe, uh, conflict, stress, punishment, abuse, fetish, anger, a quarrel, or something that you have to redo. Um, the literal meaning can be whip, a belt, a broom, a roux. The additional, um, this card can show any kind of a repetition act, action or maybe um, a task that's repetitious. Birds. This is the number 12 card, okay? This is uh, the Seven of Diamonds. It's a neutral card. It's, it talks about maybe some gossip, verbal, communication, some news, uh, messages, some kind of a discussion, media, meanings, um, being chatty, negotiations, um, electronic communications, short term. Um, it may be the literal meaning, maybe birds, TV, a radio, telephone, text, or a message. Then we have the child. Number 13 card, the Jack of Spades. It's a neutral card. New beginnings, um, being naive, the innocence of that child, right? Young, being young, childish, small, spontaneous, diminish, reduce, being little. Uh, the literal meaning can be a child under 18, can be talk, uh, with toys, a uh, playpen, something that's small. Additional, this card can represent an actual child. Other times it can add the description small or little to the cards next to it. Then we have the fox, that sly fox, right? Um, that's the number 14 card. It's the nine of clubs. This is a negative card. Can be talking about sneakiness, trickery, lies, deceit, manipulation, con, a trap, fraud, sly, wit, charm, um, a, some kind of day job that's maybe nine to five, employment, an entrepreneur. The literal meaning can be a trap, a uh, contraption, a den, a cubicle. Additional, if the question is about work, then this card can be positive and represent employment or in some cases, an entrepreneurship. The bear. The bear is the number 15 card. This is uh, the 10 of clubs. This is a neutral or maybe a negative card. It can be talking about being bossy, 
uh, a career, power, strength, protection, um, authority, stability, security, finances, investment, resources, envy, greed, or a warning. Um, it can literally be talking about a bank, an office, a safe, safety deposit box. Um, I feel this card is security. Um, I feel as if it is uh, motherly security. You know, maybe uh, somebody caring about you. You know, things along that nature. And we have the stars. The number 16 card. This is the six of hearts. Um, it's a positive card. Um, it's about guidance and goals. It's about direction and fame. It's about creativity, uh, maybe recognition. The arts, optimism, perseverance, confidence, and astrology. Um, the literal meanings can be a map or a GPS, a compass, maybe the night, horoscopes, the internet, an astrological chart, maybe. The stork. The stork is the number 17 card. It's the queen of hearts. It's a positive card, right? It's about improvements, okay? Delivery, change, renewal, movement, newness, uh, a transformation, renovation, uh, fertility, birth, pregnancy, adoption. Um, the literal meanings can be an infant, a nursery, or any of the above. The dog. The dog is the number 18 card. This is the 10 of hearts. It's a positive card. Um, it talks about friends and loyalty and trusting protection. It talks about a uh, spouse, maybe your boyfriend or your girlfriend, a pet, a guardian, a dependability, supportive. Um, it can be talking about a pet, a dog or a cat or a person, maybe. Um, it can, uh, additional readings, it can be talking about a third party or an additional person. Tower. Uh, the number 19. This is the Six of Spades. This is a neutral card, okay? It talks about commerce, maybe an institution, maybe medical, educational, government, legal, corporation, a prison, maybe, corrections, structure, uh, regulations, restrictions, ego, maybe some ambition, protection, maybe um, advantage. Uh, the literal meaning can be a tower, an apartment, a large building, an office, a bank, a school, a hospital, or etc. The next card is the garden. And the garden is the number 20 card. It is the eight of spades. It's a neutral card. Um, it talks about parties, maybe events, social gatherings, groups, crowds, uh, meetings, retreat, community, celebrations, nature, concerts, maybe a reunion, maybe relaxation or harmony. The literal meanings can be a venue, a garden, a neighborhood, a park, maybe a yard. Oh, the mountain. Mountains is the number 21 card. And this is the eight of clubs. This is a negative card. Okay, it talks about obstacles, uh, intimidation, burdens maybe, resistance, standing still, maybe a delay of some sort, maybe some challenges, some opposition, stubbornness, frustration, procrastination, an enemy, stalled, discouraged, long-term and arduous. Uh, the literal meanings can be a mountain, a rock, a stone, high place, something high, uh, isolation, a location, or maybe cold. Um, additional, when focused on timing, this card shows delays and requires patience. Crossroads. This is the number 22 card, the Queen of Diamonds. This is a neutral card. It talks about choices and decisions maybe you've made, opportunities, your free will, empowerment, options, uh, uncertainty, hesitation, impasse, 
uh, divination, deviation, variations. Um, the literal meanings can be an intersection, can be a trail, a fork, or maybe the road. Additional, in a relationship reading, this card can show a non-commitment or an indecisiveness. Oh, the mouse, or the mice, the mouse, the mice. The number 23 card, the seven of clubs. This is a negative card. It talks about worries and loss and stress, undermining, anxiety, theft, inconvenience, maybe some erosion, uh, deterioration. Tension, slow, small problems, or maybe some hoarding issues. Uh, can The literal meaning can be mice, pets, vermin, small places, a food pantry, and maybe a supply closet. The heart. The heart is the number 24 card. It's the jack of hearts. It's a positive card. It talks about love and romance. It talks about your emotions, the passions, devotions, affections, happiness, harmony, fulfillment, delight, pleasure, kindness, charity, and joy. The literal meanings can be talking about your heart. A valentine, maybe romantic setting, or heart-shaped. Oh, the ring. The number 25 card. This is the Ace of Clubs. This is a positive card. This is, talks about commitment, an agreement, unity, uh, a contract, an attachment, joint, venture, um, engagement, maybe a proposal, marriage, a merger, or a solution to something. The literal meaning can be a, a ring, jewelry, a circle, maybe something binding, um, objects, books. Books is the number 26 card. This is the Ten of Diamonds. It's a neutral card. It talks about knowledge and learning and study, data, education, facts, information, projects, um, assignments, maybe some exams, research, some training, secrets, the occult, um, esoteric, esoteric, discoveries, revealing, right, the secrets. Um, it can literally be talking about a book, maybe a journal of some sort, a filing cabinet, computer, a library, school, or maybe an e-reader. Um, additional meanings. This card can represent both revealing and concealing. Look to the surrounding cards for clarity. The letter. The letter is the number 27 card. This is the seven of spades. Neutral card. Um, it, keywords are documents and notes, maybe some reports, letters, emails, uh, some texts, some awards, permits, certificate, certificates, uh, license, blogs, diploma, uh, warrant, paperwork, contracts, invitations, and news. The literal meaning can be talking about a letter or a document or some newspaper or a paper, some kind of paper. Here is the man. It's the number 28 card, the Ace of Hearts. It's a neutral card. It talks about a man, uh, a male current, a masculine, a friend, a brother, a father, a husband, a lover, uh, a fiance uncle, a boyfriend, an adult, son, or a co-worker. This card represents a person, either the quarant or someone close to or influencing the quarant. What I do when I do the readings, I, whoever I'm reading for, if it's a man or a woman, this is my, my center card. Okay. I put this in the center. When I'm doing a, uh, general reading like I usually do. Um, I take both cards and I cross them. Okay. And this is my center card. So anything, um, you know, depending on what cards you're reading, there's cards to the right, cards above, cards below. They all have different meanings uh, depending on if it's above, if it's next to, if it's further away. So they all have different meanings um, for these cards. Okay. So then we have the woman, which is the 29 card. And this is the ace of spades. It's a neutral card. 
Um, it talks about a female parent, feminine, wife, a woman, a mother, a sister, an aunt, a fiance, a girlfriend, maybe a friend, a lover, an adult daughter or a coworker. This card represents a person, either the current or someone close to or influencing the current. My lilies. I love the lilies. The number 30 card. This is the king of spades. It's a neutral card. It talks about elder, um, wisdom, sage, sexuality, happiness, protection, a legacy, heritage, rest, peace, respect, long-term process, success, struck, stuck, maybe being stuck, purity, accomplishments. Uh, the literal meaning can be a retreat center, maybe a spa, an older person, a well-established place. This card can re represent an older, mature man or a father figure. Here's the sun. And the sun is the number 31 card. It's the ace of diamonds. It's a positive card. It talks about encouragement and success and victory. Blessed, be happy, warm, yes, new beginnings, recognition, fame, pride, self-confidence, power, strength, vitality, and energy. Uh, the literal meaning can be summer or sunshine, tropical hot, desert, maybe battery, uh, light bulbs, maybe a generator, some sort, and the moon. This is the number 32 card, the Ace of Hearts. Positive card. It talks about intuition, your dreams, imagination, fame, praise, recognition, passion, seduction, romance, feelings, maternal, feminine. The literal meanings can be moonlight, the night, nightlife, moon-shaped, or maybe a spotlight. Oh, the key. The key, the number 33 card, the eight of diamonds, it's a positive card. It talks about answers, unlocking something, locking something, revealing something, opening, right? Getting to the other side, that success, revelation, access, a breakthrough, uh, security, maybe a miracle. Yes, karma, destiny, and spirituality. Um, the literal meanings can be a security system, lock, a password, a key, or a keychain. The fish. Number 34 card, uh, King of Diamonds. Positive card. Uh, it talks about money and wealth, abundance and prosperity, positive change, freedom, uh, advantages, uh, independence, commerce, entrepreneur, uh, going with the flow in business. Um, it can literally be talking about water or a water sign. Fish, seafood, an aquarium, an ocean, a beach, a pond, a river, or a lake. Oh, the anchor. The anchor is the number 35 card, and this is the nine of spades. This is a positive card. It talks about stability and security and safety and trust. Loyalty, solid, genuine, fixed, um, concrete, enduring, consistency, uh, destination, an arrival, stubbornness, maybe, stuck, work, employment, or career. The literal meaning can be an ocean, a marina, a coast, something that's heavy, maybe a workplace. And the last card is the cross. This is the number 36 card. This is the six of clubs. It's a negative card. Um, it talks about burdens and trials, suffering and regret, some troubles, maybe some hardship that you've been going through, some obstacles, uh, maybe some shame, some guilt, some disappointment, uh, belief, religion, dogma, faith, and a cross to bear. The literal meanings can be uh, some kind of a religious insignia, um, and maybe a place of worship. Okay. 
So those are the cards of a Lenormand deck, guys. Um, and that was the description. And then they have another set of little cards, okay, that you can play with, you know, and uh, learn from. And these are nice little cards. I might start using some of these. Um, I really do like these. Here are the backs. Very pretty. And uh, then it just goes through the cards. So we have the rider. And they're little. Nice little pocket cards, you know, to put in. The clover. The ship. The house. The tree. We have the clouds. The snake. The coffin. That bouquet. Skyf. The whip. The birds. Child. Fox. The bear. Stars. The stork. The dog, tower, garden, mountain, crossroads, Oops. got these all over, mice, the heart. The ring, books, letter, the man, the woman, the lilies, the sun, the moon. The key, the fish, the anchor, the cross, oops, and then we have another set of the man and the woman. So either way, you could put the man and the woman in the deck and do it that way, or you can just do like I do and put, if it's a man, Corrent, uh, you know, put the man out, a woman, you put the woman out. If it's a general reading, you put both in the center. So either way. Um, so that is uh, the Lenormand learning cards. Uh, I love this. Um, I think it's a great learning tool if you want to learn Lenormand. Um, you can even shuffle these cards. Let's do that. All right, let's shuffle these and see what card comes up and we can, you know, see what the back says on the card and see if we can interpret it. I'm just going to pull one card, guys. I'm not going to pull a full reading. But it's a great helper. It's a great tool, you know, uh, for helping you learn. Uh, I really like it. I wish I would have had it back in the day when I was... Starting to read cards, you know, I read playing cards, so they were a little difficult to to learn. Okay, so that card wants to come out. So we have the tree. Um, I look at it as the tree of life. I look at it as health, um, health, prosperity, uh, all good things. This is the uh, seven of hearts. Okay, it talks about your health, you know, good health, growth. So you know, you're you're looking at things. You're growing as we learn every day, right? Your longevity, you're gonna have a long life. Uh, it's, it talks about rest, maybe taking some time to rest, some kind of origin, um, something solid in your life. Uh, mature, uh, patience, slow, okay? Maybe laziness, a lineage. So it could be literally talking about a tree, maybe talking about the woods or the forest or your family. Or maybe the tree chart, your your genealogy chart, okay? 
And this may take some time. It's gonna, it's, it, it's over a longer period of time. It, it's gonna happen. So I hope you guys like this. I think it's awesome. So anyways, guys, this is all Lenormand Learning Cards. Um, you can find these on Etsy. You can find them on, uh, uh, you know, pretty much all over. If you go on Amazon, you can find these cards. They're not very expensive. I think it was less than $20 maybe um, for this deck. Um, but like I said, it's a great learning deck. Um, and this is by Jadasia DeForest and Jay DeForest. See you guys next time. I hope hope you have a wonderful and an absolutely beautiful rest of your day. And I'll see you guys later.